to be able to understand it so you may stay a babe and never ever reach your spiritual maturity and never get the heavenly blessings that you need to get if you don't grow in Christ. So if you're in the same place, you got to ask yourself, why am I in the same place? And I know why it is. Because you're esteeming everything else. You're going after everything else. And not God. You'd be putting more time in your reading. You'd be putting more time in prayer. You'd be putting more time into spiritual things. And that's why. I don't hear any amens on that, huh? <laughs> that's all right. It's, it's, it's right anyway. It's right anyway. It's right anyway. It's right anyway. So that's what we got to do. You know what I mean? We have to. You know, if we're going to, if we're going to prosper, we have to make sure that we can't stay a child. We got to grow. We got to grow spiritually. We can't stay a child. It looks like a poor, pathetic child. If you see a grown man with a book, big, a big, full bear, and he's still crawling around on the floor like a child. It look, it look pathetic, wouldn't it? It wouldn't look right. And then somebody bringing him into, and coming into a, a, an establishment, on, and he's crawling around on the floor like a child, and he, he doesn't have any pants on, he has a diaper on, just crawling around on the floor. You'd be like, there's something wrong. You would think there's something wrong. And there is something wrong. That's how it is with you when you're in Christ and you don't grow. There's something wrong with you if you're not growing in Christ. And that's why you're not getting the blessings. That's why, you know, you're thinking that you need to do it this way to get blessed. I need to work more hours. I need to study longer. I need to do this and do that. Whenever he said, come unto me. Come unto me. All that are heavy laden. And I'll give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Right? He's telling you. It's him. He's the difference maker. And he's going to bring you to that conclusion that he is the difference maker. Because he don't want you to get his, he doesn't want you to get his glory. He doesn't want to give his glory to you studying more longer. He doesn't want to give your glory to you because you think that you're, you're so intelligent. That's why you got promoted on the job. He will break you down into your least common denominator. Come on now. He will break you down into the least common denominator to where you realize it was only him that had brought you through. It was only him. It wasn't anything that you done. It was only him. That's what he did with Gideon. That's what he did with Gideon. They were going to go out and fight. Go out and fight a battle. And he said, no, there's too many with you. Too many with you. Go down and take them down, by the, take them down to the water. Take them down to the water. Right? He wanted to see how they drank. The ones that lapped it up like a dog, sit them over on this side. Tell the other ones to go back. And then he took... He had, I think he started out with thousands and thousands and thousands of people. You know how many he ended up taking? From like over like close to like 23,000 or so. How many he ended up taking? He ended up taking 300. Because he said, I did not want you all to think that you did it on your own. He didn't want them to think that they did it on their own. He wanted them to know that it was God himself. Because there's no way you could have won this battle. There's no way you could have won this battle except I was with you. The numbers were against you. You were not in favor of winning this battle. I did this. Now, I'm not telling you that he wants you to, to turn away sound judgment. You know, if you got a, if you got a test, you are you should study. Right? He tells it, go to the ant in his word, he says, go to the anti slugger, consider her ways and be wise. She prepared for the winter for the summer. She prepared for the summer for the winter. So we do know that, but you can't just rely on yourself. You just can't rely on it. You gotta bring God into what you're doing. You have to bring him into what you're doing. Thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So we can't stay a child. If you stay a child, I'm gonna tell you something. If you stay a child, if you stay a child, we're talking about the natural child. If you stay a child, you can't have a job as a child. You can't have a job as a child. How are you gonna learn how to you're not you haven't learned how to cooperate yet? You haven't learned how to communicate. You haven't learned how to communicate. You haven't learned how to follow orders yet. You can't have a job as a child. You can't get married as a child. You can't get married. You don't even know how to take care of yourself, let alone be responsible for somebody else and, and learning how to cooperate and learn how to do things together. You can't get married as a child. You can't vote as a child. You don't know who you're voting for. Somebody might just have you voting the way they want you to vote. You can't vote as a child. You're not, you don't have the mentality yet to do these things. 
You can't get a lot of credit as a child. What bike you know is going to allow like somebody, one of these little children to come through there and get a line of credit? Say, oh yeah, I know you're going to be good for it. I know, yeah, yeah, I know you're going to go out and work. You're going to get a good job and work for it. No, you can't get a line of credit as a child. You can't cook as a child because your, your mind may be so distracted on the video game that you're getting ready to play, you forget something's on the stove. You can't cook as a child. You can't drive as a child. Somebody talking in the back seat, all of a sudden your head's back in the back seat. What did you say? No. That's why you have to grow to a certain level of maturity. And you have to grow to that level of maturity even in the Lord Jesus Christ. Even in the Lord Jesus Christ, you've got to grow to that level of maturity. You have to grow to that level. To a certain level of maturity. We must reach it. We must reach our full potential in Jesus. We have to reach our full potential in Jesus to overcome the tests and trials of our lives. To be able to overcome the tests and trials of our lives, we have to reach the full level of maturity in Jesus Christ. Because how are you going to know, how are you going to have faith whenever it looks like it's a situation that's not going to work out? You haven't matured in faith yet. So you're going to try to do it a different way. You're going to do it some way different than what you would do, somebody would do that have faith. Because you haven't learned how to have faith. So you can't reach your full level in Jesus Christ without growing. Without, you can't, without reaching your full potential in Jesus Christ, you can't overcome tests and trials of your life. That's why a lot of people are still, they're still living jacked up lives. They're, they're, going, they're, having, they're having all kinds of problems in their lives, in, 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 their, in their mental health and in, in their relationships. You know, and all kinds of, they're having all kinds of problems because they haven't reached their full potential in the Lord Jesus Christ. And helping, and when you do that, that's going to help you to get through trials. That's going to help you to get through tests. You're going to be able to realize that you know that he is the author and finisher of your faith. You realize that your life is in his hands, but if you haven't matured to that level, you're, 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 going, to, you're, going, to feel, you're going to feel hopeless. You're going to feel like your life is being tossed to and fro. So we got to develop our full potential in the Lord Jesus Christ. I want you to turn to 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 1 through 3. And it reads, And I, brethren, could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, but as unto carnal, even as unto babes in Christ, I'm going to stop at that first verse there. Did you see that? I could not speak unto you under I could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, but as unto carnal, even as babes in Christ. Carnal means natural. So that means that somebody can't speak spiritual to you. So that means you can't get benefit from the spiritual. If I can't speak spiritual to you, then you're not going to be able to receive the spiritual to get benefited from the spiritual because you haven't put yourself in that position yet. You haven't matured to that level yet. You haven't matured there. So now I can't even speak to you that wise. I can't even help that. I can't even speak to you that way so you can come up to a higher level. I can't deal with you like that. I can't deal with you on concepts that the Lord has for us to deal with because you're still in the carnal. I can't teach you about forgiveness. I can't teach you about, you know, going to the Lord. Take that to the Lord. Because you haven't, went, you're not, you haven't grown spiritually. You think that you have to handle it. You got to say, I can't forgive because look what they did. I got to get them back because you haven't grown spiritually yet. So he said, and I, brother, could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, but as unto carnal, even as unto babes in Christ. So think about it. That's why you can't get the spiritual blessing because you can't receive it. You can't, you're not taking it in. You're not, you can't comprehend it because you haven't put yourself in a place to grow in Christ. But verse 2 said, verse 2 said, I have fed you with milk and not with meat. For hitherto you were not able to bear it. So I had to give you something soft. I couldn't come at you. I couldn't give you this deep spiritual knowledge because you couldn't deal with it. Right? So I had, I had, to, give you, I had to give you milk. Right? I, had to give, I had to give you something a lot watered down because you can't deal with this. I had to come at you, maybe I may have to come at you from your level, from a carnal perspective to get you to understand what I'm thinking about. Right, so, 
said you weren't able to bear. And then it goes on saying, neither yet now are ye able. So they haven't even grown. He said, neither yet now are ye able. So they haven't even even grown from where they were. They haven't grown. For ye are yet carnal. For whereas there is among you envying and strife and division, are ye not carnal and walk as men? And walk as men. See, that men you want to look as natural. Natural. You're not spiritual yet. You're walking still in the natural. So some people may think that they're spiritual just become they come because they come into the church. But they still, if you haven't, if you haven't grown, if you're still in that same place, you're still not complete, you're not walking completely in that spiritual realm yet. You haven't grown. You're holding more on to that natural. You're, you're, you're relying more on the natural. But if we want to get the full blessings of the Lord, we got to reach our full potential in Christ. We got to be able to reach our full potential in Christ. 